What's up everyone, Patrick here, and in this video what I'm going to do is discuss the differences between individuals and variables in statistics, so some basic definitions, some basic fundamentals. We'll start at a high level, and then as the videos go on in this section, we'll get more and more into depth on these topics. And I want to start off with a simple example here. So let's say that you are collecting data for all the people working at a company, and more specifically, you'll be analyzing each person's position and salary. So what would happen when you collect this data is you're going to go to every employee of this company, you'll get their name, you'll get what their position in the company is, and then their salary. So for example, let's say uh, John is an analyst. Let's say he makes 70000 a year. And then we run into Sarah. Let's say she is the chief marketing officer. So let's say she's making 120000 et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to go to all the employees, get their positions, and then get their respective salary. Now the definitions of an individual and variable I wrote out over here. So an individual is the object that's being analyzed. Usually it's a person, place, sometimes it could be an animal as well. And then the variable is the characteristic of that individual, of that object that's being analyzed. So if we go back to this example here, what's the individual, what's the variable? Well, individual object being analyzed, notice that that is the people in the company, each of these people here, each employee. And then the variable, the characteristic of these employees, notice that there's two characteristics here that we're dealing with. So we have this position, which is a characteristic, so that's a variable. And then also, what salary that individual or that employee is making. That's a characteristic as well. So notice that we have two variables, the position, the salary, and then the individual is each employee that's being analyzed. And notice that these two variables are very different because notice that this variable, this job position variable, it's described in words while this salary variable is described with numbers. And actually that's a big difference that uh, I want to introduce when you're dealing with uh, different types of variables. So basically, here's what's going to happen is you're going to be analyzing some kind of individual and they can be described they can have characteristics, either one variable or multiple variables like we just saw. And there's two main types of variables that we're going to deal with. The first type of variable is something called a categorical variable. And then the second type of variable, second type of characteristic, is called a quantitative variable. So a categorical variable basically describes these individuals by placing them in categories while a quantitative variable describes these individuals with numerical values. And so a good way to differentiate both of these is usually categorical variables are described by words. So for example, in our previous example that we were looking at, a job position. That would be placing each individual, each employee in a certain category, in a certain job position. Other examples are maybe uh, differentiating between male versus females. Okay, placing these individuals in categories usually described by words. While quantitative variables, uh, descri uh, they describe individuals with numerical values, so usually they're described by 
numbers. So in our previous example, that was the salary. That was the quantitative variable. Other examples can be like height, weight, characteristics that can be described by numbers. Now, usually with categorical variables, you can't analyze these with arithmetic. And that makes sense because usually they're described by words. Sometimes you can. So for example, let's say uh, in that previous company we were looking at, let's say there are only five different types of job positions. So we can categorize each job position with a number. So one, two, three, four, five. And then what we can do is we can total up how many of these numbers occur each time. And then we can look at the proportions maybe like, how many, what's the percentage of analysts compared to the whole company, stuff like that. But usually everything's described by words, so you can't analyze with arithmetic. Versus here with quantitative variables, you can analyze with arithmetic. So for example, let's say uh, we wanted to find out what was the average salary in that company. We could just add up all the salaries divided by the number of employees. We can find out the variability of the salary, which is something we're going to be analyzing, maybe finding the standard deviation or the quartiles, etc., etc. So you can analyze quantitative variables with arithmetic. Now, what we're going to do in the next couple of videos is we're going to go over some tools that visually show both of these variables, that can visually analyze them. And the two tools that we're going to go over for categorical variables are pie graphs and bar graphs. Both of these tools are used to visually show or visually analyze categorical variables in a set of data. And then uh, quantitative variables, both tools, histograms we're going to go over, and then also something called stem plots, or uh, rather stem leaf plots. And so that's what we're going to cover in the next couple of videos. We're going to have a video on each of these tools separately.